Hey, once again, this is Robert with Clean Pool and Spa. And in this video, I want to answer the question, if I have a salt pool, can I shock my pool using my chlorine generator? And the short answer is no, you cannot. Uh, you can eventually bring the chlorine level up to 10 to 12 parts per million, but you're not really shocking the pool. Now, let's define shock. Shock is, just as it says, is a sudden onset. Basically, you're, you're, you're uh, dumping a lot of chlorine into the pool at one time. You have to shock the algae or the chloramines um, or the organic matter, whatever happens to be in your pool at the time that, that you're trying to shock. Now, shocking is not an event so much as it is a process. And this is where a lot of people get confused if they have green water and they shock their pool and they come back four, five, six hours later and their pool is still green. Um, <clears throat> they don't understand why. It's because it's a process, not an event. So when you're trying to shock your pool using your chlorine generator, basically what you're doing is you have to crank it up, you're going to redline it, and you're going to be using a lot of salt. And it's going to take a lot of time, long time, to get to that um, uh, superchlorination point of 10 to 12 parts per million. Uh, so I hope I answered that question correctly. Uh, and to your satisfaction and I gave you a little bit more information. So again, if you have a salt, salt water pool with a chlorine generator, be sure you turn that off before you shock the pool. Um, and I think that's it. So please check out the description box below. It has a link to my website, cleanpoolandspa.com. Like, subscribe, comment here. Uh, and I'm Robert with Clean Pool and Spa on this channel. As always, be safe and happy swimming. Bye.